What's up with Kelly Blue Book? Are the numbers any good? The simple answer is yes, but the information you need is well hidden from the average car buyer. Today, you're going to learn how to use Kelly Blue Book to your advantage and stop dealers from making a fool of you with automotive book value. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of The Homework Guy team and our super high intensity training for car buyers. If you love what you learn here today, Check out the merchandise shelf down below and get yourself one of these cool shirts or hoodies like this one. It's widely believed that Kelly Blue Book numbers are no good, and for the average car buyer, that's exactly right. However, that is not to say that there isn't good information to be found if you know where to look. Today, by special request from our viewers, we are taking a deeper dive into Kelly Blue Book and showing you how to find the hidden information. When you know what you're looking for, you know what to expect, and that information is powerful. Let's start with the rumor that Kelly Blue Book is owned by dealers. Actually, it's not. Kelly sold out to a company known as Cox Automotive in 2014, a subsidiary of Cox Enterprises. You might wonder why a company like Cox Automotive would want Kelly Blue Book in the first place and why they'd want it under their umbrella, but it's quite simple and perhaps a little devious. Let me explain. In 2015, the Cox Automotive Business Unit divided its brands to include four U.S. businesses, which include auto auctions, wholesale services, financial services, media, and software. You've probably heard of Mannheim, the big dealer auto auction. Yep, that's Cox Automotive too. When people say Kelly has bad information, that's quite funny because the company putting out Kelly Blue Book values is also the company with direct access to the biggest dealer auctions in the country. They have real-time information any day of the week. But that's not the whole Cox Automotive story. Ever heard of Deal Shield or Go Automotive Exchange, Mannheim Global Trader, and Ready Logistics? Maybe not. But what about Auto Trader, Dealer Track, Vin Solutions? Yep, customers all over the country use Auto Trader, and every dealer employee will tell you that Dealer Track and Vin Solutions are part of their daily life on the car lot. All of it is Cox Automotive, too. You encounter a part of Cox Automotive when you're car shopping, when you book out your car, when you visit the dealership and when you go down to that nasty finance office. From start to finish, they've got you. There's many more parts of the company I could name, but if you wondered why there are so many programs and software packages under one roof, well, the entire system is designed to drive the customer traffic to dealerships. Anytime you interact with any of these companies, you're being targeted in the attempt to set you up with a dealership. Car dealers are such good people. That just sounds awesome, doesn't it? You should understand by now that Kelly Blue Book became just one more service that Cox Automotive could use to drive you to the dealership. They have no problem confusing you with their information because the goal isn't to get you good info. The goal is to get you to show up on a car lot. When you arrive at the dealership, it's up to the dealer to convert you the lead into you the customer. And while you hear the dealer saying that Kelly is worthless, they are using Cox Automotive software programs, including Kelly, for everything else they do. Funny, isn't it? In the end, you're disappointed with it all, but you buy a car anyway and go home saying to yourself, this process really sucks. Somehow Cox Automotive thinks that works, like it's good customer service or something. What an interesting model, huh? Imagine how much good they could do if they really wanted to help you. Now, this doesn't mean that Kelly isn't useful to you. We just need to know where to look and how to read the information. And in a moment, we're going to jump right into it. First, this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers. And the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question, or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. I book cars regularly, and I've shopped Mannheim Auto Auctions on several occasions. I also assist on hundreds and even thousands of car deals every year, and I can tell you that from my experience, Kelly hits the numbers correctly in just three areas. You can use Kelly, but don't use anything but good condition numbers for trades and private party sales. Using good condition, you can determine within a few hundred dollars what a dealer will offer you for your car by looking at the low trade value. Yes, that's a bummer, isn't it? Yet, that's the number you'll see on the auto auction. Kelly just wants you to think about those higher numbers, you know, like the middle or the excellent condition 
so that you show up at a dealership. Remember, it's about driving you to the dealer. You can also approximate what you sell your car for private party by also using good condition and looking at the middle private party sale values. Lastly, you can predict what a dealer will list the car for by using high dealer retail. And you notice there's no option for raising or lowering the condition of the vehicle. Dealers always want you to think that they have the finest cars on the planet. And Kelly helps them sell that message by not giving you any option of saying the car is anything less than amazing. Interesting, isn't it? Dealer gives you low trade, then charges the next customer high dealer retail, and then rips them a new one in the finance office, and then tells everyone that they're losing money on the deal. They tell you this while they're sitting in a multi-million dollar facility, just like a casino. It's like a drug dealer telling an addict, that's the best I can do. Since Cox Automotive owns Mannheim and Kelly, Kelly has access to updated information directly out of the auto auctions. Here is how you decipher information to determine how much a dealer likely paid for any used car in their lot, how much they're likely to offer you if you trade your car in, how much you can hold out for on your trade if you're a tough negotiator, and then what the dealer is likely to sell your vehicle for. Here we go with Kelly Blue Book, how to use the numbers to determine the information that you need to know. On today's exercise, we're using a mix of high and low mileage vehicles. You'll recognize some of this layout if you saw our video on how much a dealer pays for a used car because we shared some of this information there. However, there is going to be some new stuff here that you want to pay attention today, even if you saw the previous video. So the first vehicle we're looking at is a blue 2019 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring. It has 14,370 miles on it. Dealer is asking 27,000 on this vehicle. Again, looking at good condition, trade value low. They likely paid 21,848 to this vehicle when we add the $500 lot pack brings us to 22,348. Adding the $1,250 reasonable dealer profit brings us to 23,598. This dealer has the vehicle listed at $27,000. The dealer fat on this one above the reasonable profit is $3,402. So actual dealer profit on this vehicle is $5,152. The very skilled negotiator could have traded this vehicle in somewhere between the 23,591, which is KBB high trade number, and the 24,069, which is the KBB private low. If you're a very skilled negotiator, you could have traded your vehicle for somewhere between those numbers. We're going to use $23,830 as the maximum trade number you could have got for this if you just wanted to sit there for a while and stick to your guns. Let's jump to the next vehicle, a black 2017 Toyota Tundra SR5 four-wheel drive. This is a higher mileage vehicle, 112,267 are the miles on this. Dealer has it listed at 30,324. What the dealer likely paid using good condition, Kelly Blue Book trade low plus $100 is 23,252. Now we add in our $500 lot pack and brings us to 23,752 and a 1250 reasonable dealer profit brings us to 25,002. Now you mentioned the dealer has this vehicle listed at 30,324. The dealer fat beyond a reasonable profit is $5,322. So add up all the math and the dealer expects to make 7,072 on this vehicle. This is starting to get it really into the oink oink class here for this dealer, very greedy. Now let's jump back really quickly to the Kelly Blue Book trade high on this vehicle and the Kelly Blue Book private low. Again, these are in the good condition category. The number that sits right between is 26,000 453. Now compare that to what the dealer's asking for the vehicle of 30,324. Yeah, they could have easily paid a trade of 26,453 to a really tough negotiator. Almost never happens, but a really tough negotiator could have got this number on trade. Now here's our last example. It is a gray 2017 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 4Matic. It has 36,470 miles on it. The dealer has this listed at 36,798. Now, look here at what the dealer likely paid for this vehicle on KBB trade low plus 100 bucks. Brings their number to 27,220. Are you seeing a problem here? Now we add in our $500 lot pack, brings us to 27,720, a 1250 reasonable profit of 28,970. So that's the number the dealer could go down to on this vehicle. However, they're a lot greedier than that. They have 36,798. Keep in mind that a typical dealer would sell this vehicle for $34,000. So this dealer gets the greedy dealer of the week award, three oinks on this one. 
The dealer fat beyond a reasonable profit is $7,828, and this dealer, all things considered, expects to make $9,578. Front-end profits, that's before finance, before accessories, before all of the extended warranties, they expect to make almost $9,600 on this vehicle. So this is the Oink Oink Dealer of the Week, right here, this 2017 Mercedes-Benz. Now I want to jump back to the skilled negotiator on trade-in. I said that the dealer very unlikely paid a dime over $27,000. 220. However, if you're the master negotiator and you brought that vehicle in, you could have traded between the trade high number, which is 29,364, and the private low number, which is 30,525. A number in between would have been 29,945. You could have held out and got that number for it. Now, when you look at what they listed the vehicle for, 36,798, could they easily have paid that number? to a good negotiator? The answer is absolutely yes, but they didn't. They bought it for $27,220. They're trying to sell it for $36,798 and pocket themselves $9,578 before you even get into finance. I hope this is a great help. This is how you use Kelly Blue Book. Remember, good condition is the category that you should always be using. And then look at the Kelly Blue Book trade low number at 100 bucks. That's most of the time what the dealer is paying for the vehicle. Always remember, between Kelly Blue Book trade high and Kelly Blue Book private low, a number in that range is what a very skilled negotiator could get for their trade if you just sit there long enough. There you go. hope this was a great help to you. Great stuff, wasn't it? If you appreciate the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy. We'll have a better chance of seeing it. Share the video on social media with your friends and family and make sure you join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and updates on other social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks for the tip, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in the description box down below. The Homer Guy team has helped millions of car buyers with videos, free contract reviews, market updates, and much more. And we'll always have your back with more great content. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care.